everyone I'm here with another video this is my first video of 2017 and I know it's well into the new year but I still want to wish you guys a happy new year I wish you guys nothing but love and health and all those great things and um, I hope you guys are still sticking with your new year's resolutions because I still believe in them and yeah just want to wish you all very well so I really want to do this video at the end of last year just telling you guys like what the best uh, beauty products and lifestyle products have been for me in 2017 2016 but I just have had a really hectic time I've been really busy and I think after my last video which was in October a lot of things have happened uh, my birthday came and went uh, the holidays I was sick for a while there then my boyfriend had surgery so I just didn't have the opportunity to set up my camera and film this video so if you guys are interested in a couple of products that have been working out very well for me stay tuned so the first item is a Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and this is in the shade number 9. Um, it's been out for quite a while, so I do know that I'm a little late to come to this party here. And um, I just would not give in and pay the full cost for it, so I end up getting it on sale at Sephora during one of the sales last year. And I'm glad that I finally did. Um, the title, Luminous Silk, it says it all. My skin can be really dry, but this will still give it that luminous feel to it. But I kind of save this for special occasions, so like date night, if I'm going out somewhere I'm going to be taking a lot of pictures I don't wear this all the time because I kind of feel like I paid more money for it than I pay for my other foundation so I try to uh, use it sparingly so the next item is the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Clot Blur Primer this is what the bottle looks like it has a gold cap and gold flex in the primer itself and if you are a beauty enthusiast and if you've not purchased this and if you've not used it you've definitely heard of this product because of the cost it's really expensive for a primer I can't remember what the full cost of it is but it is really expensive for a primer and I know that I was really skeptical when I heard about it I was like a primer is a primer why would anyone pay that amount of money for it it's just going on under your makeup like that's ridiculous until I walked into a Sephora and I received a sample of this and then I was hooked but I did wait until I could get it on sale in fact everything in this video I purchased on sale or in some way on discount because I just don't like paying full price for things anyway this product makes all of my makeup looks even better my skin it looks flawless in this um with this primer on and i've used it under like my cheapest foundations i've used it under my more expensive foundations i do reserve it for um, like special occasions though and i just can't say enough uh good about this um it is kind of like the smashbox primer but a little bit drier and it is easy to spread so you don't have to use too much so you can put like a little bit um, on your hand and just kind of rub it all over but I love that love, love this product so the next item is the cover effects custom cover drops this is what the bottle looks like and this is in the shade g70 and this is such an awesome product I don't think enough people know about it so basically this is a product that you can use to doctor up your liquid base products so you can make your own tinted moisturizer um, with this product that comes in uh, many different shades um, and if you find that it doesn't have um, the brand doesn't have one in exactly your shade you could go ahead and buy two and then make your shade what I love about it is that throughout the year we use different kinds of foundations in different shades because in the summer we tend to get darker and in the winter we tend to get lighter and um, I hate having to buy so many different kinds of foundations because they don't match exactly now with my skin tone I find that just in general um, some brands just don't have a liquid uh, foundation that's in exactly my shade so you can use this product if you're a person especially a woman of color if you find that um, there is a foundation out there you like the consistency but it's just not in your shade you could buy um your shade in the custom cover drops and then make the foundation match to your skin tone i think that this is such an awesome product and not enough people know about it the next item is the rncn monster eyeliner in black i received this as a sample in birch box first and i love this product from the outset that i used it a little bit at a time i used it until there was like this much left and i couldn't sharpen it anymore so i decided to go ahead and get the full size from sephora and what i love about it is that it's creamy it goes on very easily you don't have to worry about it moving once you put it on it does not budge it goes on so smoothly it, and it's creamy you can actually create a smoky eye with it and it stays put I've used it um, that way a couple of times when I didn't have a lot of makeup products with me the next product is the Ren beauty shot 
this is what the bottle looks like I received this originally as a sample in my birch box as well and uh, what I love about it is that it really is what it says it is it's a beauty shot so you put this on between your toner and your moisturizer and it just gives your skin this awesome like boost of softness before you put on uh, the rest of your uh, moisturizer or any other skincare products it makes all of those products perform even better the next one has become a favorite of mine over the past year and it is the Dior show blackout mascara and I just love uh, the the brush I love a good brush I don't like these little plastic applicators that you find in mascara nowadays just because I feel like the brush does a better job of working into your actual eyelashes and getting the product on there whereas the other ones I feel like it just kind of skims the surface but um, I love this I use this um, more often than uh, my other luxury makeup products because I don't want it to dry out and I'm wearing it right now actually the next item is the master palette by Mario and this was the eyeshadow palette that was a huge huge deal last year and I was so happy that I finally got my hands on this product because it's really a high quality uh, palette at least in my opinion um, there are a couple of shades that I use all the time and that is um, Marina Kim Fifth Avenue and Claudia in fact I think I'm using Marina and Claudia right now um, I think that's what I'm wearing right now and they are super super pigmented you don't have to use a lot I know it looks like I haven't used it too much but I have used this palette a lot and you don't have to use too much I think that this was an awesome buy and it was well worth um, the trouble I went through to get it the next item is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation and this is in the shade 111 Soft Sable. I mentioned this in my very last video because I had just purchased it then and I've been using it all the time since then. And let me tell you guys, this is one of the best drugstore products that I have purchased in 2016. I don't have to use a whole lot of this product and um, it stays on for a very, very long time. Um, I remember I went to the gym a couple of times with this on after work, after being at work for several hours and this stuff it had not come off by the time I had come back from the gym in fact a little over a week ago I went to the women's march here in New York I left home at 7 30 and I don't think that I took my foundation off until about 8 30 that night and I was out there I was sweaty like because standing out there for a really long time and walking for a really long time I definitely did build up a lot of sweat and it had not uh, moved at all I love 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 this foundation the next item is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I know, a whole cream for your bum. I wouldn't normally purchase this if I had not received a sample from Sephora from a, a previous purchase. And I love the way that it left my skin feeling uh, really soft. And um, I don't think I had used it on a long enough time from just the sample to say that it really firmed up. But I love the way that my skin felt. So I did jump at the chance to purchase this during the VIB sale. And it's a nice... Um, thick cream it has a gorgeous smell to it and what I like to do is put it on like my uh, thighs or um, like on areas that I would like to firm up so my uh, lower stomach my um, arms here where I call like the wings you know where it's like flappy and then also on my bum and what I do is I put it on and then I rub it on with this um, this applicator thing that I received in a set uh, from my uh, bliss I forget what it was called it was like a uh, body scrub and then a lotion set in fact I think I did a review of that a couple of years ago and it really does firm up the skin if you use it over a certain amount of time I love it um, I can see why a lot of people wouldn't purchase it but I definitely would give it a shot if that's something that you're looking for the next item is the origins night of men's mineral enriched renewal cream I had received this as a sample also from Sephora and um, I used it quite sparingly because it was a very thick product so even the sample lasted me for a really long time um, I don't use this product all the time uh, now that I have the full size uh, what I like to do is wait until my skin feels really dry if I've given myself a facial and I just need to give my skin some intense moisturizing um, I go ahead and I use this product so it's not a product to use all the time but I definitely feel like it's really good to put on at night and the next morning your whole face just feels really rejuvenated and very very soft so the next item has become my signature perfume over the last year and it is the Cartier Pantelegier perfume and um, this is such a beautiful feminine 
floral scent. Um, it has uh, gardenia and musk notes to it, which can sometimes be really strong and overpowering for people, but somehow they manage to make it really light and flirty. But um, I think that it's such a unique scent. Um, I love it for that reason, because I feel like a perfume really should be a lady's uh, signature. So I don't like to use a lot of the mainstream popular perfumes because you're likely to smell it when you go out to dinner or if you go to a lounge or if you go to a party you'll you will smell somebody else wearing that perfume and I don't want to be like everyone else. and the other thing I love about it is the packaging because I'm all about unique packaging it has like a panther's face or jaguar I guess you could call it um, etched into the side can you guys see that um, and what happens is as you use the perfume and the perfume begins to uh, lower down the bottle the face begins to disappear which I thought was a really unique um, and different touch to the packaging so the next product is also a fragrance and it is the nest uh, dahlia and vines or the parfum and what i love about it is that this is also a unique um scent but it is a uh, really strong it definitely makes a statement it makes an impression so uh, if you meet somebody wearing this you would definitely remember them i think they did a great job of making it floral and feminine and i feel like this would be something that a really sophisticated um serious about herself kind of woman would wear so the next item is actually a product that i reviewed i think about a year ago and it is the hair therapy steam hair wrap um I think that this is such an awesome product because it's like a deep treatment without having to use um, your blow dryer or your hair dryer, your bonnet dryer to um, do a deep treatment. You can use this like on the go. So if you're going on vacation, if you're going somewhere, let's say you're going to the beach and you want to um, do a deep treatment because your hair has been dried out and you don't have all your tools with you, this is a great thing to bring with you on the go. Um, you put it on and it warms up on its own it really is like a steam uh wrap i know when you first use it it looks like it it like it's not possible but once you put it on it does heat up and it does help the product uh penetrate your hair and um you could also like put a towel over your head over uh, the wrap to kind of make it um even um warmer but i definitely gave this product a thumbs up back then and i still do the next two products are by tresemme and this one is the split remedy leave in split and conditioning treatment and this one is the thermal creations heat tamer leave in spray and i came across both of these products when i went to straighten my hair some months ago and i really wanted something that would uh, protect my hair from heat damage but also have a good lasting leave-in uh, treatment and so um, i found that a lot of times when i go to straighten my hair after having it curly for uh, weeks or months on end that very first time my hair will be really frizzy it'll be really dry it'll be hard to straighten it'll i wouldn't say it would break off but i could definitely feel the heat damage and um, these two products have done a great job at uh, protecting my hair and it just feels like so much softer and uh, bouncier and silkier uh, when I straighten my hair now so over the last year I have been making an effort to be more conscious about the foods and the drinks that I take in and what I really want to do was move over to drinking only water but um, I haven't done that completely but I have been drinking a lot less uh, soda and sugar drinks and so it's thanks in part to this bottle that I purchased from Target. This is a Brita bottle and I would say this is about 32 ounces and what I love about this is that I can have filtered water anywhere anytime. I can fill up anywhere and not worry about having to drink tap water. Um, I can definitely tell the difference. I don't know about you guys and so um, this has definitely made it easier. And so this bottle here, I purchased this from TJ Maxx and this is a bottle to infuse water. Sorry, I just washed it so that steam at the top there. And basically Basically what you do is you can put fruit here at the bottom and fill it up with water and it flavors your water for you which is a great way um, I feel um, and my experience to kind of trick myself into drinking more water and I don't want to just drink regular water but I want something with a little bit of a different flavor and what I love to do is like um, I use a lot of berries and sometimes cucumber um, with like mint and I uh, flavor water that way. Also what I like to do is make my own pineapple coconut water. So I will cut up 
fresh pieces of pineapple here and then fill the rest up with coconut water and then let it sit overnight and it is awesome. Now because I cut out a lot of uh, sugary beverages for my diet that meant that I had to cut out my morning coffee and then also my morning tea because I definitely really only like them unless they have some kind of sweetener with them. So like with my coffee I definitely like the creamer. I definitely like the sugar with uh, tea. I definitely like um, tea with lemon and honey or with milk and sugar. Um, there's no way around it. So I had stopped drinking them and I realized I still wanted some kind of caffeine. So I kind of created like my own little uh, like detox tea system and I started drinking the Yogi uh, Green Tea Blueberry Slim Life uh, tea. This has caffeine in it and it's supposed to support a diet program. That's what it says here in the box. What I love about it is that with the blueberry flavor, it's not like such a strong, strong green tea. It is that little burst of caffeine in the morning and it's it's not like um the way that I would feel with like coffee when I would begin to crash after a while. Um, this is much more pleasant and um, I like to have this with my like paleo uh, blueberry muffins. Um, I drink this several times a day. I love it. It also makes you regular. I don't know how but it does or why I should say but it does and um, I just love the taste and so this one here is actually the honey lavender stress relief uh, soothing serenity blend this is caffeine free and this is what I drink at night when I uh, really want something to soothe me um, kind of calm me down uh, before bed and uh, make it easier for me to sleep and lastly I have another beverage item and this is my butt first coffee travel mug uh, this was a popular item last year and it's gorgeous it has a beautiful gold lid and it's white it has like gold lettering on it and even though I no longer drink coffee out of it and I drink my green tea out of it now um, I just think that it's that really nice like morning glam item it makes you feel great you know drinking out of this i know that sounds silly but um it makes me happy to use it and i like to go out you know my work day with this standing at the bus stop with my tea and i just feel like i could take on the world so that's it you guys those were some of the best products for 2016 for me if you have any comments or questions please leave them below if you haven't don't forget to like don't forget to hit subscribe and until next time take care you guys Bye.